Pluto caused them to come all alongside. Pluto's circle intersects that of a few other celestial bodies. Pluto, the small distant planet on the outer edges of our nearby planetary system, is generating excitement. On Earth, recent studies suggest a potential thrill, with Neptune raising concerns among scientists and astronomy enthusiasts. Key figures like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have voiced warnings about the implications of this cosmic event. However, how did Pluto come to be on a collision course with its neighboring planet, and what might this celestial clash mean for life on Earth? Join us as we unravel how something significant just collided with Neptune and how scientists have been left puzzled by this massive anomaly. Pluto, once celebrated as a full-fledged planet, underwent a shift in its status, being reclassified as a dwarf planet due to its irregular orbit. Despite this downgrade, Pluto still captivates and commands attention in the cosmic vicinity. Recent predictions from notable scientists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have raised concerns about Pluto's path potentially intersecting with Neptune, suggesting an impending series of consequences between the two celestial bodies that could have major implications for Earth. Pluto's journey around the Sun stands out due to its remarkable characteristics within our nearby planetary system. Its orbit is notably vast, crossing a significant number of astronomical units. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has yet to complete a full orbit around the solar system. Adding to its character is the highly elongated nature of its orbit. Unlike the more circular paths followed by the larger planets, Pluto's orbit deviates by 17 degrees from the ecliptic plane, giving its path a steeper angle compared to any of the terrestrial planets. The combination of Pluto's nature and its elliptical orbit adds layers of complexity to its trajectory. One notable aspect is its periodic overlap with Neptune's orbit. For about 20 years during each orbit, Pluto comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying expectations based on their separate positions within the planetary system. Delving further into Pluto's orbit, it is intriguing to note that it is not a perfect circle but rather an elongated trajectory resembling an oval shape. This distinct orbit leads to Pluto's varying distance from the Sun throughout its journey. At its closest approach, perihelion, Pluto comes within approximately 30 astronomical units of the Sun, while at its farthest point, aphelion, it extends to more than 49 times the distance of Neptune from the Sun. Furthermore, Pluto's orbit is tilted at an angle relative to the orbits of the large planets in our planetary system. This inclination not only adds to the complexity of its orbit but also plays a crucial role in its interactions with other celestial bodies, particularly Neptune. When Pluto intersects Neptune, their gravitational forces adjust their paths over time. The intricate interaction between Pluto and Neptune highlights the dynamic nature of our planetary system. Even as Pluto was once seen as a solitary wanderer in the outer reaches, its occasional encounters with Neptune underscore the interconnectedness of celestial bodies, each influencing the other's paths through gravitational forces. In recent years, advancements in observational technology have helped astronomers refine Pluto's behavior with remarkable precision. This has led to a deeper understanding of its orbit and its potential implications for the stability of the outer planetary system. Although the likelihood of a direct collision between Pluto and Neptune remains low, the possibility cannot be entirely dismissed, prompting continued monitoring and research by the scientific community. Despite its small size and distance, Pluto continues to spark interest and curiosity among researchers and enthusiasts alike. The question arises, why hasn't there been a collision between Pluto and Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational influence of the larger planets. Astronomers began examining Pluto's orbit shortly after its discovery, and its trajectory baffled them. Unlike most planets that orbit near similar planes around the Sun, known as the ecliptic plane, Pluto stands out with its tilted and elongated orbit. The mystery intensified when they realized Pluto's orbit intersects with Neptune's. Despite these complexities, Pluto's orbit remains stable, demonstrating the intricate mechanics of celestial motion. Understanding how three celestial bodies, Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, interact gravitationally is a significant challenge. It's akin to attempting to predict their movements based on their initial positions and mutual influences. For Pluto, this journey illustrates how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, 
and the suns all interact like a simulation of libration and the VSOP variations. These simulations assist researchers in solving this grand puzzle. A simulation is essential for maintaining planetary orbits. While Pluto crosses Neptune's path, it remains at least 90 degrees away, preventing collisions. The VSOP variations, named after researchers VAV Zappel, Steve, and Sapling, explain why Pluto's orbit appears unusual yet remains stable over time. Despite the cosmic chaos, certain forces and principles keep things in order. These recommendations maintain Pluto's orbit stable, avoiding collisions with Neptune or deviations in its path. The potential for orbital chaos highlights how a celestial body's orbit is extraordinarily sensitive to its initial conditions, as represented clearly by Pluto. Even slight changes in its conditions or velocity can alter its orbit over time. Researchers use computer simulations to decipher how Pluto moves in space. These simulations employ advanced mathematics to replicate how Pluto interacts with other celestial objects like Neptune. By adjusting these simulations, researchers can understand how minor alterations can change Pluto's trajectory. In the late 1990s, these simulations uncovered something fascinating about Pluto's orbit. Despite certain factors that need to be stabilized, Pluto's orbit can still be eccentric. A small difference in Pluto's starting position or velocity can result in significant changes over long periods. However, despite this disorder, Pluto's orbit remains stable for exceptionally long times, such as billions of years. This suggests that even though Pluto may appear chaotic, its journey across the solar system follows a predictable path. Looking ahead to what might happen with planets like Pluto that have irregular orbits is challenging. These systems are so unpredictable that it's difficult to foresee future developments. Simulations help us learn about potential outcomes, but they also show us that we cannot predict everything. This knowledge aids our understanding of how our solar system functions. Pluto's orbit illustrates how orbits that seem unstable can change due to gravity and celestial motion. Continuing to study is vital, as focusing on these matters enhances our understanding of our place in the universe. When examining space, we find that things can be unpredictable, and Pluto's orbit is an excellent example of that unpredictability. Pluto's orbit is not like those of other planets. It is more elongated, which means it is not a perfect circle. At times, it even comes closer to the Sun than Neptune does. This creates an interesting scenario because Neptune is also moving along its path. There is a slight chance that Pluto and Neptune might eventually meet at some point. Despite its unusual orbit, Pluto manages to stay clear of Neptune most of the time. This is due to gravitational forces. Gravity acts as an invisible force that attracts objects towards each other. So, even though Pluto and Neptune might seem like they are on a collision course, their orbits are carefully arranged, guided by the force of gravity. Pluto's orbit teaches us that space is full of surprises. What appears chaotic at first glance can be a delicate balance of forces. By examining Pluto's orbit, researchers gain insight into the complex mechanics of our planetary system. This ongoing observation and research are crucial for expanding our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Imagine if Pluto and Neptune collided. It would be an extraordinary event, sending shockwaves through our comprehension of the planetary system. Although we have made progress in understanding space, What's happening indicates that we still have a long way to go. Studying what large planets like Pluto's orbit tell us provides valuable information about how our entire planetary system works. It shows us that the positions and movements of planets can alter the dynamics of other objects in space. Despite the complexity of space, some top researchers are concerned that Pluto might collide with Neptune. This makes them wonder why this might occur even though it seems improbable. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a renowned astrophysicist, has shown interest in Pluto. He believes that reclassifying Pluto as a dwarf planet, rather than a full-fledged one like Earth, is a step forward. He feels we are constantly learning new things about how objects move in space. Tyson views Pluto's unusual orbit as a sign that there is still much we don't understand. He finds the mysteries of space captivating and believes that significant events like Pluto's reclassification capture people's interest in space. Tyson aims to keep people engaged with fascinating and sometimes peculiar topics about celestial mechanics. 
He believes it's important to discuss how space mechanics work. Tyson collaborates with other researchers to alert people about the potential risks of Pluto's peculiar orbit. The possibility of Pluto colliding with Neptune someday keeps him focused. He believes this could lead to major issues for our entire planetary system. A collision between Pluto and Neptune could be a rare and significant event, releasing a tremendous amount of energy and potentially shattering Pluto. Debris from the collision could scatter through space and impact other planets and moons. Neptune might also experience the effects and alter its orbit. Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, known for his contributions to string theory and technology, offered an intriguing perspective on space exploration. He believes that understanding the future of space travel and the link between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics can be derived from studying anomalies like Pluto's orbit. Kaku views Pluto's orbit as a glimpse into the future of space exploration. By understanding the intricate gravitational interactions and orbital dynamics of celestial bodies like Pluto, we can enhance future space missions. This will help with safer navigation through the solar system, predicting potential hazards, and planning missions to distant parts of our cosmic neighborhood. Kaku emphasizes that lessons learned from Pluto's orbit can be applied to exploring other celestial bodies, providing a roadmap for exploring far-off worlds. He frequently highlights the deep connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics, stressing that the interactions of planets, including the gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune, are rooted in fundamental principles of physics. Kaku's work in theoretical physics, especially string theory, aims to unravel these principles at their core. He suggests that focusing on the complexities of celestial mechanics, like Pluto's orbit, can provide insights into the underlying laws of the universe. Just like Tyson, Kaku has also considered the potential collision of celestial bodies and linked it to his theories about the universe. A collision between Pluto and Neptune, while significant in astronomy, could offer a unique observational opportunity. It might contribute to our understanding of string theory and other areas of theoretical physics. Such an event could generate extreme levels of energy and gravity, shedding light on the behavior of fundamental particles and forces under intense conditions, a key consideration in string theory. Moreover, the gravitational waves produced by such an event could provide valuable data for testing predictions of string theory concerning gravity and spacetime. While the direct impact on Earth might be insignificant due to our distance from the outer planets, the scientific implications could be profound. Understanding events like this could deepen our knowledge of the fundamental nature of the universe, as described by string theory and other theoretical physics areas. Pluto's unique characteristics, influenced by the gravitational forces of neighboring planets, especially Neptune, highlight the complex and dynamic nature of space. Yet, the universe holds many mysteries, and the three-body problem is just one of them. Researchers continue to anticipate other potential collisions, underscoring the relentless quest for knowledge and exploration in the vast universe. Even though it is highly unlikely, there is still a small chance that planets might collide in space. This could happen because a planet's orbit is influenced by various factors, such as gravity from other planets, which researchers refer to as the three-body problem. In systems like the TRAPPIST-1 system, where there are seven Earth-sized planets, the gravitational forces create a kind of rhythm in how the planets move, known as orbital resonances. Over time, these paths could make a planet's orbit less stable and lead to collisions. Although systems like TRAPPIST-1 are teeming with planets, collisions are not happening right now. Researchers keep an eye on these systems to understand how planets affect each other's paths, especially as they get close. This helps us understand how planets move in space. This text, while very technical and detailed, covers a wide range of topics related to Pluto's orbit, gravitational influences, and potential collisions with Neptune, all within the context of planetary dynamics and theoretical physics. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of Pluto's orbit and its interactions with Neptune and other celestial bodies, it becomes evident that the dynamics of our solar system are far from static. Pluto, once considered a lone wanderer in the outer reaches, now reveals itself as a participant in a complex gravitational dance that spans billions of kilometers and millions of years. The gravitational forces exerted by Neptune, the eighth planet from the Sun, play a crucial role in shaping Pluto's orbit. Despite their vast distance apart, 
These two celestial bodies occasionally cross paths due to the eccentricity of Pluto's orbit. This eccentricity means that Pluto's orbit is not a perfect circle like those of the inner planets but rather elongated, resembling more of an oval shape. This orbital characteristic leads to significant variations in Pluto's distance from the Sun throughout its approximately 248-year orbit. At its closest approach to the Sun, perihelion, Pluto ventures inside the orbit of Neptune, coming within about 30 astronomical units, AU, of the Sun. This is closer than Neptune's average distance from the Sun, which is about 30 Australian dollars. However, at its farthest point from the Sun, aphelion, Pluto travels to more than 49 Australian dollars, significantly beyond Neptune's orbit. This wide range of distances means that Pluto and Neptune's paths intersect at certain points in their respective orbits. The gravitational interaction between Pluto and Neptune is particularly intriguing because it illustrates the delicate balance of forces in our solar system. While Neptune is much more massive than Pluto, its gravitational influence on Pluto is still significant due to their occasional close encounters. These interactions can alter Pluto's trajectory over time, albeit slightly, as gravitational perturbations from Neptune nudge Pluto's orbit and shape its path around the Sun. Moreover, Pluto's orbital plane is inclined at an angle of approximately 17 degrees relative to the ecliptic plane, which is the plane in which most planets orbit the Sun. This inclination adds another layer of complexity to Pluto's orbit, as it means that Pluto's path through space is not perfectly aligned with those of the major planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. 